Welcome to Chop Chop Chef. Today we will do a Austrian dish which is called Kaiserschmann. Kaiserschmann is uh, it's a pancake, it's a sweet pancake, uh, fluffy, and when it is in the pan, then we rip it in pieces. So it will be something exciting. So for this for this pancake, we will uh, separate the uh, uh, eggs. Um, egg yolk, egg white, we have sugar, we have vanilla sugar, flour, raisins, almond, milk, soda water and off we go. So first thing first, yeah, we, we separate uh, two, two eggs, so egg white in here, egg yolk in there. One more time. So that's, that's two egg white in here and while I have on the eggs and one full egg goes to the two egg yolk. Done. Okay, now we um, give this egg white, we whisk it very stiff. Yeah, I just put a pinch of salt in it. Here we go and off we go, full blast ahead. Okay, so our egg white yeah, it's uh, whisk, very stiff. How we know it's very stiff? Very easy. We do it around like that. If it stays in the bowl, it's stiff enough. Very good. Okay. So this is part one done. Okay. This, this egg white I put quickly in the fridge. Okay. Now we're going to the next part. We do our um, egg yolk. We can use the same whisks, no problem. So, so the egg yolk has two egg yolks, one full egg in there. Now in here we, we put as well our vanilla sugar, uh, 8 gram, and our custard sugar, 50 gram. Okay, and this whole thing we, we whisk nice and creamy. That was quick done. Okay, so now we have now we have our uh, creamy egg, uh, egg yolk, and what we're doing next is we will add our flour, all-purpose flour, and milk, sort of bit by bit, and fold it under this mixture. Yeah, so not all at once. Yeah, so let's start off with. Yeah, half of the flour, milk, half, more flour, that's 250 gram of flour. And we have uh, 300 milliliter of uh, full cream milk. Which the milk I put in all right now. The remaining flour. Okay. Just have to get a whisk for this one. Quick. Good stir. Okay, now we're taking our egg white and the egg white we will fold nicely into our mixture. Okay, so the egg white we take, you see how nice and uh, firm that is, yeah? So we, we put this one and then we fold it in there, like that. Well, let's put all in there. I always like to use a spoon, like with a hole in it. Yeah, so we don't we don't want to. Um, we want to make sure the egg white stays as fluffy as it can be. Okay. While we're doing this one, we're doing now. We're adding now our raisins. 
Easy done. As well as our almonds. When the almond, the almond flakes like this, if you think they're too too large for you, you just crumble them a little bit in your hand. Yeah, make them a little bit smaller, break them off a little bit. There you go, can go all in there. We continue. Nice mixture. Okay, last not least, we put just a dash of uh, soda water in there. That's that part done. Now we have to bake it over the lid. Okay. We're just coming over here. We'll make sure our pan is nice and good warm, say this way. Starting off with some butter, even as a te even so as a Teflon coated pan, uh, I always put butter in there as well. All right, our pan is nice and hot now, so make sure we, we stir. Obviously, we want to have the almonds and the raisins from our dough as well, right? So we're putting. Uh, depends how big your your um, pan is. Uh, I put good two or maybe even three spoons of those one in it. Yeah. Two and a half, yeah. So as I said, that will be sort of, uh, that's like a base of the, the pancake, yeah. Spreading it nicely out, with, not that we have all the raisins and almond on one spot. So this one, we let now gentle sit there, get some color, and then, as I said earlier on, we rip the, we, we turn it over, let it, let it bake, and then we rip it all in pieces, as simple as that. Now it's all patient. Okay, now this is, sits around two minutes on the stove here. You can, you can see if the camera can focus on this one, there's some, some air bubbles coming here, so this means it's, it's starting to cook through. Now we divide it in, a f in, in four or six, however you feel comfortable with, yeah, and then we have to turn this thing over. So that's what we're doing there now. Yeah, I just make four of the quarters. Okay, and now we take the whole thing. Don't be shy. Bang, bang. One. One more time. Two. Three. And four. Okay, now this one uh, we let rest as well, say for a minute or two, and then we continue ribbing it. Okay, so we have this other one and a half minutes sort of on the side, we check, okay, that's already good. Now we take a spatula and make sort of bite-sized pieces, right? Just like that, easy. There's nothing to it, however it comes. Okay, one more quarter here. Okay, so when you, when you see sort of the, yeah, all the bits and pieces here, I put my remaining butter in here. Leave it for other minute, and we want to, we want to make sure it's nicely cooked through. Yeah, and we have to keep stirring it a little bit now, obviously. Not all the time, but we don't want to have it burned. Looks good. Looks good. How it should be. Sweet, fluffy, ripped pancake. That's what we call it today. Okay, let's turn the pan off. So this is this is now nicely cooked. Yeah, we just bring it over here on the on the table to make a presentation of our 
our version of the Kaiserschmann. Yeah. So we put it all nicely here. And yes, this, this one, well, I have it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, any day, any time. But mainly you serve it for, for lunch yeah, or as a dessert. Yeah. So like that, beautiful. And now obviously uh, what, what uh, we serve it with absolutely is a must, icing sugar. Don't be too shy on that. So, and then yes, you can, you can garnish it if you want with a little bit of, of mint. Yeah. So, here we go. And, uh, and we, we serve this today with um, a nice, beautiful uh, uh, fruit and berry salad. Yes, you can do a plum compote, you can do an apple mousse, uh, vanilla sauce, uh, completely up to your liking. All right, that's uh, my version of um, Kaiserschmann, or what do I call it, sweet pancake ripped. All right, thank you very much for joining me at Job Job Chef.